Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, you will be learning how to make NeoVim colors adapt to your wallpaper. Now, the way we can do this is through one of two backends. We are either going to use Pywall or Matugen. Now, if they sound like new words to you, I've made videos on them in the past, so go check them out. Great, now that you're back, let's see what we can do here. So if I open NeoVim as an example for you guys, NeoVim, as you can see here, colors over here have adapted to the wallpaper which is great. Now, the config that I'm using for NeoVim is called nvchat. That's how I'm able to get this status bar over here and all the other goodies that come along with custom NeoVim configs. Great. Now, how do we actually get started? First, open your browser and go to github.com forward slash nvchat forward slash pywall. Oh, and I almost forgot. As a free bonus for my awesome viewers, you guys, I've linked my dot files in the description below, complete with an install script, tested on Arch, so go and grab that if you want to. And hey, if my free videos have helped you out as much as they have updated tutorials about topics that pretty much no one else on YouTube has made, think about the value you're getting in my paid stuff. Do yourself a solid favor. Click the first link in the description and check out my program. I've been compiling over two years of customizing Hyperland into there just for you. Check it out. Okay, now that we're here, let's see. First, don't make the same mistake that I did. You need to install Pywall and Watchdog, these two libraries. The way we do that is like this. So you just do pip install Pywall and Watchdog. It's going to bark at you and give you an error saying that you cannot ordinarily do it without passing break system packages. So you don't want to do that. Instead, you will look and see whether you have Pywall and Watchdog in your repos. So I'm using Arch. So if we check that out, Pywall, we will see Python Pywall over here. We also have Python Pywall 16, which is what I'm rocking. Great, so we have that installed. And for Watchdog, we have a package called Python Watchdog. That's an alias, by the way. That stands for yay-s. If we install Python Watchdog, it's going to ask you for the password and then it will be installed. Once you install that, just scroll down and you will find this. You need to cd into the config and vim directory and clone pywall. Now this will not work unless you already have nvchat installed, which if you don't, it's very simple to install. So just go to nvchat.com, click on install, copy this, paste it over here, and that should finish. That should open NeoVim for you and you'll get a sort of dashboard like thing, I believe. Great. Once you're in there, you run colon mason install all. So that would look something like this, mason install all. You delete the .git folder and you learn the customization of UI and base46 from here, colon hnv UI. You can do that. And once that's done, we come back here. So let's install this, copy, paste, copy, paste. Right? Instead of having to type it all out, you can just copy and paste, it makes things much simpler. Once you hit enter, it should clone it. I already have the directory over here, same one. Next, we add this to the end of our init.lua file. So you see the init.lua over here, open that, and you should see something like this. The theme is going to be different. So if we scroll down, I've added that section in over here, firewall slash matchugen, copy this, paste it in. Okay, now it says that you need to generate your firewall theme again using this, if not, it'll basically default to GraphChad colors. And pro tip, if you want to change themes using NVChat, it's space TH and it pulls up the themes menu. The theme that I am using that adapts to the wallpaper colors is called Chad Wall. And this is what it looks like. Now I'm using Matugen, So the way to set that up is like so. Add this line to config Matugen config.toml. Now they do say this, but there is a different way to set it up that goes like this. So what we do is we open config matugen config.toml, open that, scroll down, and we actually do it like this. This might work, I have not tried it out, but it's much better if we just copy this and format it, just like how all the other things in this file, in this templates file, or rather config file is formatted. So what you do is you remove those two curly braces and that, hit enter, delete all of this, 
and you add in the templates.nvim section over here. Once you do that, you should get something like this config nvim firewall mantigen.lua. Now, this is the actual Lua template. This is going to be the input path, which is your template. And the output path is actually going to be your colors file, which is in dot cache wall base 46 dark. If I show you guys how that looks, cat cache wall base 46 dark. Now I'm using a different app for cat. So if we actually look for the alias cat, yeah, cat is actually bat. So I've aliased that to cat so that you get colored output. Okay, pro tip. Then to actually show you the colors, it's best if we use NeoVim itself dark. As you can see here, these are the colors. And here's something cool. So write that config at you or rather in vim by wall yes so whatever colors we have over here it's pretty much going to extract that from your wallpaper and put it in here this is the magic of matigen colors on background default hex so it just copies that so it makes that your white color same for black and same for every other color great now that we have set that up all we need to do is run matigen on an image let's say for example we make it something like okay let's use the theme switcher for this you can create one like this i have made a video on it before go and check that out okay so let's pick something like this one let's apply the colors now if we open neovim colors here too have changed so let's open a script that's in your color picker as you can see it adapts that's it and if you don't see this, you are going to have to select the theme. So press space TH and it might do this. Happens every once or twice, but that's fine. Just hit enter and type in Chad wall. Again, you're going to have to ignore it. It just happens. It goes away on its own sometimes. But if it doesn't, you can always look it up and fix it. So just hit enter and it should work like so. And that pretty much should be it. There's the demo showing how the colors adapt to different wallpapers. We can try that out too. Let's pick something like, let's pick a different color, something like blue. So this, yeah. Some wallpapers get you better colors in both Pywall and Matugen. So your mileage may vary with the wallpaper that you choose. Like for example, the previous one, the one that we had before, the first one, that one had really good colors. Now the background for this might seem a bit odd, but you can fix it by changing the wallpaper. And that should be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like share subscribe check out the program first link in the description and see you guys next time peace